What is up everybody? My name is Marcos. I am the sole creator of Thanatophobia. Thanatophobia is a first person zombie wave survival game. Um, I drew a lot of inspiration from Call of Duty Zombies making this game. Uh, we are currently in the main menu. I'm going to kind of show you around of what I have done so far, kind of talk about my my thought process behind making everything and then on our way out uh, let you know the final release date for this game. Um, but Thanatophobia, here we are, main menu. Um, for right now, this is where we stand with the main menu. I kind of like it just as simple as that. Um, we hop in here and we have two of the three maps that we're going to have here. Uh, these big, the big blank white squares, they're going to actually have the image of the map and kind of show the player before they're actually able to hop into the game. But as of now, we have the shooting range and then we have the rummaged wreck. This one is a construction site, whilst this one is just a, almost like the tutorial for the players that I, I kind of want to think about. Um, but starting off with shooting range, we load into the game here. Again, this is going to kind of be overhauled towards the end. We're going to take some images of the actual map itself. Um, but here we are inside of the game right now. We have our HUD kind of overhauled from the original idea I had for it. Um, right now, there is no area, so that top left where it just says test text isn't going to actually do anything, but that will kind of show the uh, player where they're kind of standing inside of the actual map. Um, on the top right, you can see our wave number. Bottom right, we have our health and stamina wheel. This has also changed. Originally, I had it as more of a text to overall just show the player what their stamina and health was but i wanted to kind of shy away from that and go into a more not i want to say new idea but something i thought would be kind of cool instead of just normal text or a health bar we have an overall health wheel and a stamina bar as you can see that is kind of filling back up but as i'm running it'll slowly go down um right above that should be how much money the actual player has so you'll see um when i go ahead and shoot the zombie here get 50 points per kill um right now there is i was just working on that buy option so down below you could see that that's not going to be there permanently but as we kill off all the zombies let's see i believe there's one more um let's go ahead and throw the audio on for that as well the round gets pushed we have a little bit of a cooldown in between rounds so let the player kind of run around and do what they have to do um as of right now there are no buyable weapons everything is equipable that is the one thing I genuinely want to work on um, once the game has released. I want to be able to properly animate the player's gun and movement. So right now I'm kind of, um, I'm going to say it, but I'm half-assing it. Uh, but I have the player able to carry the gun and then switch weapons, as you can see here. Yeah, it's not the, not the best, but it's what I can do. I am new to the whole weapon system this was my first time wiring up a weapon system um an inventory for the player overall stats for the weapon so this is all kind of new to me but again i do want to overhaul that towards the end um overall again this was just more or less to be one of three of the smaller maps i plan on releasing with the game this is just small boxed off area we have the zombies with some sound effects and as you start to stray away from them it will kind of go away I know there's one model that is messing with my audio right now. And again, all in the test phase right now, but this is stuff to be fixed later on. Uh, zombies do have a overall animation change. There are four controllers that they go through. You can kind of see the different animations here, especially when they hit. That one's more of a quick one. Overhand and then underhand. But they all die the same way. Um, I do have particle effects when hitting zombies little different when you hit the ground so you'll see if i'm shooting something else right now it'll kind of give me like the bullet ricocheting but when i hit the zombies we kind of have that overall gore blood that we're used to here um, my health is down i do plan on implementing a health regen there are no pickups nothing along that side um stamina is kind of overall staying the same as well but yeah that is just one mass uh playable maps for the player this is a little bit bigger than the other maps. Uh, once you see the final map, you can kind of see that. But this, I do want to start to involve the buyables for the game. Um, so the player is kind of free to roam around, but there are blockades in the area. So let me see. I turn the player back on. There we go. Everything's always under a test phase. So with that, but we're back in the game. 
But here we go. We can now see at the very top left, the uh, area names are now working. So the player will start off in the pit. And we have the main site. Um, player isn't really able to jump over everything. But here we go. Here's the one example of a test buy. Uh, not solid, but if we go over here, we should be able to buy that. Opens up a little bit portioned of the map. But again, I want to work on this a little bit more. I'm still propping some of the areas with the asset packs I was that I purchased. Um, overall, same idea though. Zombies are still here. Let's see. That update, yeah. Everything's working so far. Stamina is still good. Health is still good. Points haven't changed, um, but you can see now the player doesn't start with a weapon, which again, I do want to fix. I don't want the player to be having to pick up all of the weapons on their own. I do want the players to be able to pick them up um, from a Bible station, but uh, originally start off with just like a normal pistol. Again, this is one of the bigger maps, not entirely done. More props need to be done, and I do want to adjust the lighting a little bit more. There is a slight fog that I did intend to add, um, but overall lighting does need to be added. Um, no main objectives yet. Normally in a Call of Duty game, main objective, uh, turn on the power, and then from there kind of do like the main Easter egg. Here I'm more focused on soul survival, um, the highest wave, you know, get to brag to your friends a bit. Uh, no intentional Easter eggs yet. Uh, but that is wreckage, wrecked rummage, or rummaged wreck. Wow, that is like really hard to say. Uh, one of the final maps that I actually just completed is called Shipment that uh shipment again is one of those smaller maps i drew a lot of inspiration from uh, call of duty's shipment map uh that's gone through a lot of phases inside of uh, call of duty so i figured why not kind of make my own version of it um again smaller map but player can come over here pick up their weapons so if i go there pick up my ar and shoot the zombies a bit go and then same with the pistol, I'm able to pick it up here. Let's switch to my pistol. Able to shoot the zombies. But a little bit of a more compact map. This one doesn't have as much as the shooting range. Uh, again, since it's a shipment yard, you kind of got the sh uh, crates all around the place. Um, another example of the buyable would be this option. I do want to actually add an option for the player to, again, buy weapons and possibly upgrade them. So that'd be a good place to add them there not many spots to actually train which is kind of what i wanted to step away from uh, a lot of what call of duty zombies has become is just you pick one area you get two good guns upgrade them and you run circles and kind of you know run the waves out as you can and this one i do have kind of the corners a little bit more open but there are little obstacles that will throw you off as well as spawns that are placed in the actual map overall so let me see if we can kill these guys this one, I want to say, is almost complete. Uh, most of the props are done. I do want to change it so the player isn't able to kind of see outside of the world. I do want to close that off so it's not kind of just like we're in a void. Let's see, we got the last of the zombies. And done. Wave two. As you'll see, I wanted to have each corner kind of have a zombie spawn area. So zombies will spawn here. Zombies will spawn in the opposite corner. This one, I actually have two spawns since it was a little bit more open and there's a passageway inside of here. There are a few crates that you are able to run through. This one, but that also brings a lot of risk. If you're trapped in there, once the zombies hit a certain wave, they will start running. So you might want to stay out of that area. But overall, that is the current state of the game. There are three maps that the players are able to actually play with. Uh, I plan on releasing this game Towards the end of October, I want to say around before Halloween, definitely. So about a week before Halloween. Um, only major overhauls that I do want to change. Player, I want to fix those animations and properly have that weapon system set up. So that way we can have those viable weapons. Um, I do have a couple weapons that I can show before we end here. Our test area. All right. I do have just four weapons at the moment. Um, two of them count as secondaries. The other two count as primaries. So we have our AK-47, our M4, <coughs> our Uzi, and then our M1911. Um, in here, this is the overall where I just started fixing all the zombies, fixing up the player, 
Uh, so yeah, I can come over here, pick up my AK. I'm here, pick up my Uzi. We have our test areas. This was the triggers for the actual name. Uh, I am also working on a perk system. Uh, there are four main perks at the moment, unnamed, but they do kind of mirror the basic four perks that Call of Duty would start out with. Quick Revive, Juggernaut, um, Double Tap, and Speed Cola. Here we go. We got one more Bible for 100. Just another example of what I worked on in the past. But that is Fanatophobia, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm really looking forward to the release of this game, getting feedback from the actual community. Uh, again, this is a project long and going, but I appreciate any type of feedback that you guys can give. But I will see you all at the launch of Fanatophobia.